is that how you felt after the game? Yeah, I think like it's been a, a bit of a long time coming, but we all finally clicked out there and knew what we had to do. But um, like Crows are a really good outfit, um, and they have been for the whole five years as well. So um, just to, to beat a team like that sort of gives you a lot of belief, um, even for the young girls um, coming through. Um, so yeah, it was just a, a really good win, and, and we've taken that through this week as well. When the fixture came out, did you look at it and go, oh God, Adelaide, Fremantle, Brisbane? Like it's the toughest run moment. Yeah, some said we were a bit unlucky um, compared to other teams, but you sort of start your final series now. Um, if you can't beat them in the season, well, you know, you're not ready to, to sort of make the finals and take it all the way, which we think we are. Um, so Mick sort of made us excited to play those sort of teams. You want to play the best to be the best. Um, so no, we were really looking forward to those three teams when it got announced. Yeah. And Dockers this weekend, looking forward to getting on the road. It's been a while. Yeah, I think I was, I was looking at the dates and it's been exactly a year since I've flown because I missed the Gold Coast flight. Um, so I'm actually excited to get out of Melbourne and have a little bit of a trip with all your mates. Um, so really looking forward to that and just getting away and I think it's going to be quite warm. So have some sun up there as well. And what sort of attributes can you bring from that Adelaide game into the Fremantle game? Um, I reckon like uh, Perth, like Frio, they're a really good outfit as well. So we think just the pressure um, that we can apply it into into the game and and at the like mainly their midfield because that's their main engine. Um, so yeah, just our pressure that we can put on them. I think that's what will help us get the win. Freo are super dangerous. Like Carlton up by 15 points with like, eight minutes to go, and they still manage to get those three goals. I mean, how do you ensure that that doesn't happen to you guys? I think just always respecting your opponent. So like I think Gemma Houghton didn't really have a good start of that game. I was fortunate enough to watch the last five minutes and I think that's when she had a majority of the ball. Um, so yeah, always respecting your opponent, um, even if they haven't touched the ball, still stay on top of them and stuff like that. Even Sabrina Duffy, um, I think she kicked two goals within one point. Um, she's a very skillful player, but yeah, it's just obviously being on top of them and, and not turning off until that final siren. You mentioned the young players. Um, how pleasing has it been to see their influence on the game? You've had a few rises yeah, I think um, at the start of the year, a lot of people doubted us with our young players coming through, but being able to watch them train throughout the pre-season, um, we backed them right, right in for the, to, to even have Rising Star nominations, and Eliza Mack um, proved that this week. But um, it's just been really exciting to see them grow as players, but also as, as humans as well. Um, they are just 18 years old, but some of them you think they're a lot older. Um, but yeah, it's just really excited to see them play this year and obviously future years ahead. Daisy going forward is kind of symptomatic of this trend at the moment, sending guns forward, although she probably not like to admit that herself. But um, what has she brought to that dynamic playing in that role? Yeah, I've, I've even just seen her smile a lot more. Like, obviously, down back can be quite stressful, but being a forward, you can have a little bit more fun. Um, she's got the freedom to sort of control the forwards and, and yeah, take from there. So I think just seeing that fun come out in her game is actually making her play a lot better as well and it's it's bringing everyone with her like myself i've gone down there with her sometimes and just having that general sort of voice behind you um, is real calming and and makes you go out confident um but yeah it's just really exciting to see her enjoy her footy and how have you seen your own uh, season so far obviously injured at the start but a bit more midfield time this year yeah, I think it's been really good to have a bit more midfield time, um, but also like having players around you like Tyler Hanks just take a massive leap, gives you more confidence to play alongside her. Um, but we're probably the tightest we've ever been since I've been at Melbourne, um, and I think that's showing out in the footy field as well. Um, so it's just really exciting to see where we can sort of take that and obviously trying to get into the final series. Um, we just want to take steps each week, and we're, we're doing that for sure.